Hello, welcome to my channel, 20-somethings Career Stories. Today I'm going to be talking about four different book recommendations I have for people who are in their late teens, in their 20s, and maybe even their early 30s. Um, these are all books that I read in my early 20s and I found pretty helpful for navigating challenges I felt like I was coming across in terms of uh, personal and professional development and I just found value in them so I thought maybe you would too. I'm going to look at my computer and read off the four book titles. Um, they're all very long-winded, so no way I'm memorizing these. My first book recommendation is Everybody Lies, Big Data, New Data, and What the Internet Can Tell Us About Who We Really Are. This book is by Seth Stevens Davowitz. My second book recommendation is Designing Your Life. This is by Bill Burnett and Dave Evans. My third recommendation is The Defining Decade, Why Your 20s Matter and How to Make the Most of Them Now. This is by Dr. Meg Jay. And my fourth one is 10% Happier, How I Tamed the Voice in My Head, Reduced Stress Without Losing My Edge, and Found Self-Health That Actually Works, A True Story by Dan Harris. I wanted to share the four book titles up front so that if you're not interested in hearing why I like them, you can just go ahead and look them up for yourself. But uh, from here on out, I am going to talk to you about why I recommend each of those books. Um, and actually, a bonus book <laughs> that I highly recommend. It doesn't fall in the self-help genre, per se, but it's more about financial literacy and just a general understanding about how to build wealth. I will say this book is very old, but a lot of the basic principles hold true, and there have been newer iterations of it. So you might want to look for the latest version. It's called The Millionaire Next Door, The Surprising Secrets of America's Wealthy. This is a book by Thomas J. Stanley and William D. Danko. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to plan on doing a whole video on this book itself. So I'm not going to talk about it more here. Starting off with Everybody Lies, I'm just going to read a quick synopsis about what it's about. And then I'll share what I feel like it's about. Everybody Lies offers fascinating, surprising, and sometimes laugh out loud insights into everything from economics to ethics to sports to race to sex, gender, and more, all drawn from the world of big data. What percentage of white voters didn't vote for Barack Obama because he's black? Does where you go to school affect how successful you are? Do your parents secretly favor boy or girl children? Do violent films affect the crime rate? Can you beat the stock market? How regularly do we lie about our sex lives and who is more self-conscious about sex, men or women? This summary here just shows like what a wide range of topics this book covers, but what I found most interesting about it is that it essentially uses Google search trends to uncover what we ask the internet when maybe we wouldn't ask that kind of a question to a friend or a family member in real life. So it's basically showing how like the internet gets the real us um, and why I find this interesting and why I've lumped this into a video about recommendations for people to read in their 20s is because I think a lot of times anxiety comes from not understanding other people or feeling like other people don't understand us. And this book kind of lifts the veil on what other people are thinking about. So from my perspective, I just found that really intriguing so this might not be like a super straightforward like i said self-help book but if you're looking for something a little bit out of the box that's interesting um i definitely recommend giving this a read so my second book recommendation is designing your work life by bill burnett and dave evans these two individuals are professors or were professors at least for a time at stanford university um, they basically taught the contents of this book as a course at Stanford, um, and it was super in demand and popular. Um, of all the books that I'm recommending in this video, this is the only one that I would say if you are interested in reading it, to buy your own physical copy of it because there are different charts and graphs and work sections and checklists where you can physically write in the book. So you obviously wouldn't want to do that with like a library book and you wouldn't be able to do that with an audio book. So designing your work life is basically all about using elements of how designers attack problems to attack the problems in your current work life. Um, and that includes reframing how you think about situations that maybe you're really just like stuck in a rut and a negative spot. Looking at those situations, evaluating them and trying to figure out the good that can come from them. Um, 
this is a really good book if you're super analytical and writing things out helps you work problems out. It helps address if maybe you're in a current work situation and you, you really like certain aspects of it and you want to really make that situation continue to work for you. They talk about that. They talk about how to really understand if you're ready to quit a job and if that's the best move for you. And then they kind of go into moving on. How do you get the right path set for yourself? So um, this is, like I said, again, very good for someone who is analytical, wants like a checklist approach to improving their current work life situation. I do recommend it for certain people. All right, The Defining Decade. This is actually probably my favorite book of the four that I'm recommending in this video. Um, it's written by a clinical psychologist who pulls her, you know, several decades of practicing experience with patients as a psychologist and takes their stories, anonymizes them, but shares their lessons learned. Um, and basically the point of the book is to showcase why your 20s are really truly critical for building the foundation of your identity and values and relationships for the rest of your life. Um, I don't think she's meant to scare anybody that your 20s really are that important. I think she takes a really compassionate approach to the struggles that individuals in society might face in different scenarios. Um, and because she does that so well, it's really kind of a comforting read in my opinion. And just quickly, I'll read um, a piece of the synopsis, which is the defining decade weaves the latest science of the 20 something of years with real life stories to show us how work, relationships, personality, social networks, identity, and even the brain can change more during this decade than in any other time in adulthood. This is a book I actually saw recommended by a YouTuber named Monica Church. I'll link her YouTube channel in the description below. She basically is just a young 20-something professional who is sharing her career growth um, on her YouTube channel. And I, I think she does really great videos, so you can check her out if you're interested. Um, just wanted to give credit where credit was due. And I'm really glad that I came across this recommendation, like I said, because it melds very nicely clinical psychology with just the challenges that arise in modern society for, you know, coming into young adulthood, especially given that it is more financially difficult to do so in this day and age. So highly recommend this book. Let me know if you like it in the comments below because I'm kind of a fangirl of it. So let me know. My fourth book recommendation is 10% Happier. This book by Dan Harris is interesting because he was a live TV reporter who suffered like a major panic attack while doing a broadcast one day um, and that caused him to reevaluate his life and how he defined happiness and success. Um, spoiler, it mainly talks about meditation, which he does say in his summary. Um, I am not like a huge calm, inner peace, spiritual meditation type person at all. Uh, I mainly read this because it was recommended to me and I think given to me. I don't regret reading it because I think it's important to sometimes read about things that you don't necessarily um, vibe with or agree with because otherwise you fall into this like self-induced vacuum of validation about things you actually believe work. Um, so if you are into meditation, if you're not into meditation, I recommend reading it. Uh, it's it's an interesting narrative. It's all anecdotal and to an extent and has a lot to do with understanding your own emotional intelligence, which I think is becoming a more mainstream idea as being important to figure out in your 20s. I personally don't put a lot of weight into self-help books that are like, do these things and you will be happier. I think it's important to read a plethora of different materials so that you can pick, pull, and choose what works best for you, um, which is why I picked a range of books that go from very like analytical checklist, figure it out, to more anecdotal. So to summarize, when picking out self-help books for your 20s, don't take anything as gospel. I think that's a really dangerous way to set yourself up for failure, for hitting personal milestones read some diverse material, figure out what works for you, and go from there. Um, 
if you are someone who is looking into books like this or looking into YouTube channels like this, I promise you, you're you're better off than you realize already because you are trying to initiate some form of self-improvement. So thanks for watching.